Well, here we go. Our wonderful Hawkeye NCAA Marvelous Moment Series. It's getting serious. We are now in the Elite Eight. Today, we're going to go back to the 1980s. What a decade that was. Adam Rosso, take it away. Today, we're moving to the bottom half of the Elite Eight in our bracket. It's the second seed from 1987 against the seventh seed from 1980. Two Iowa wins, two different Sweet 16s. Don't forget to vote on HawkeyeHQ.com for which moment you'd like to advance to our Final Four. The number two seed in the bracket is Iowa's 1987 win over Oklahoma. Now this group of Hawkeyes, they've been battle tested all season long, and that showed up in the waning moments of the shootout against the Sooners. The Hawkeyes defended well on Oklahoma's final offensive possession in regulation. Then they scored the first five points of overtime, only to give up the next six to trail by one with seconds remaining. Well, you guys know what happened next. Kevin Gamble coming up here, onions from the top of the key, the Hawkeyes escaping with a 93-91 win, advancing to the Elite Eight for the only time under coach Tom Davis. The seventh seed is the Hawks' 1980 win over Syracuse. Now the first 33 minutes of the game were back and forth. Things turned in Iowa's favor on a rare five-point possession. A Syracuse foul underneath the Hawkeyes' basket set everything in motion. Jim Beheim was then given a technical foul. Iowa was given four free throws. Vince Brookins made three to put Iowa in front 58 to 57 and then Steve Craftson would score from close range on the ensuing possession to push the Hawkeyes lead to three. Lou Olson's team would never trail again en route to the upset victory in Philadelphia. All right, it's the Hawkeyes last two Sweet 16 victories going head to head, the overtime decision against Oklahoma in 1987 and the win over Syracuse in 1980. The polls will be open for about four days on HawkeyeHQ.com. So get online and cast your votes. Winner advances to the final four of the memorable moments in Iowa's NCAA tournament history.